What's up guys, it's Steely here from Things to Do in a Game in GTA 5, and this may be one of GTA 5's best jumps, and I'll show you why in a sec, but first, uh, me and my buddies, who actually discovered this jump and told me about it, are going to get some parachutes in case we have to do an emergency jump off, and in a sec here, I'll show you where it is on the map so that you can do it yourself. Uh, we do have three stars for some reason. Uh, but here it is on the map. It's sort of like this little tree shaped. It's a fork with three prongs. Uh, the left prong and the one in the middle have uh, jumps that you can go off of. And uh, I will show you both of those coming up here. But uh, yeah, like I said, first we're going to go off this massive jump. And we... Uh, they actually jump out because they have the parachutes. Uh, I believe I did too anyway. But I went down with the ship and I survived anyway. Very, very uh, non non-physics like because really that would just blow up a car but then I just drive through the water all right next clip so uh, still have those three stars same three stars uh, he gets on the side he jumps in and uh, we are now in this police cruiser like what do they call it the Rangers truck and uh, there's a couple reasons why this jump is so good uh, one it is high um, of course it does land in water so you know if you do uh, land in it you should be fine it's not very deep though <laughs> he actually jumps out there uh, he falls out and I go down with the ship here and almost explode because you know when you land on your hood that happens there's some other vehicles in the water there I noticed so then I take my old uh, vapid dominator here and uh, I left this in because this is a sweet jump I do here ready and flip and down right there that's nice now we're going down here also has parachutes for this specific region it's actually for parachuting not driving a car off of it but still a nice jump nevertheless and whoop please I And touchdown. Oh, end over end. Hood falls off. Splash down in the water. That was pretty cool. You can do some awesome tricks off of this. Now, uh, you're going to argue with me, oh, this uh, this jump isn't the biggest. There's bigger ones everywhere else. And uh, the one at the airport is so much better and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, I just thought this one was nice because it has a lot of cool things. It has like a nice run up to it. It's nice downhill. And then you can just fly right off the jump. It's it's pretty awesome that you can't. You can't deny it, okay? Um, shoot out the window for effect before I get into the driver's seat automatically. Another cool feature of GTA and splash down in the water. You rarely land on your hood, and even if you do in the water, you should be fine. And I'm just sort of doing some mud in here. And speaking of mud in, I got my big old Vapid Sand King. I'm a Vapid lover. It's sort of like the equivalent of Ford in the real life. So this guy, he's going to get his car because <laughs> he wanted to do the jump too, but he fell down the mountain. So, you know, we, we're having a good laugh. So my buddy, he decides to get out, and he's like, oh, wait, I can get the car for you. And so I just watch him, and he falls down too. You got to understand, it was like midnight. We're practically drunk, and... <laughs> Oh man, it was so so much more funny at the time. And uh, so you can see they're making their way back up the mountain. I have no idea why I left this in anyway. And uh, if you think that they're not going to do it again, well, you're wrong because <laughs> they did the exact same thing again. Yeah, okay, they, they tumbled down the mountain. Oh man, that was funny. So eventually they make it up there with a bike and they uh, homosexually <laughs> get on the back. He flies off. He, he just hauled ass out of there. And my big old truck with the huge suspension, silence once again, and I do some awesome barrel rolls or whatever you want to call those. Landed on my wheels. That was nice. And then, like I said, I do some more mud in right here. So that jump that I showed you, that looks sort of like a tree. I don't know why it looks like a tree to me. But um, it's like a three-pronged fork. Uh, I left this. Oh, and of course, run over your buddy. Of course, why did I leave that in? I don't know why I left half stuff I did. So here I fly off of the bike. I don't know why I left this in. Just It was a funny clip. So uh, I say, hold on a sec. I want to light you on fire. So he <laughs> he stays right there, and I pour some gas up to him. He's like, well, that's not going to light me on fire. You're stupid. Well, I didn't know it would either, so I take out my pistol, <laughs> and I shoot it. And all of a sudden, he turns into Ghost Rider, which may be a great idea for the next one. <laughs> he <laughs> he falls off, and I thought he was going to die. I'm like, oh, okay, well, he didn't die. And uh, then all of a sudden, uh, the bike is still on fire for some reason he decides to get close to it. I run away because that happens he dies and almost gets hit by the train that's coming right now <laughs> oh man I had some awesome fun with this it was like a couple of hours just us fooling around and I cut it down for your convenience so thanks for watching remember to slurk I've been Steeler and I'll see you for the next one see you later